If you are getting hounded by telemarketers, you are not alone. A new report out shows Austin is one of the top places where people are complaining about violations of the national do not call list. Austin's 512 area code had more complaints than Dallas, Houston, even parts of New York City. Second in Texas, only to the 817 area code in the Fort Worth area. KXN investigator Kevin Schwaller looks into why calls are coming through more than a decade after Texas and Washington took action to stop them. Those unexpected, unsolicited, and often unwanted calls aren't stopping, despite the do not call list. They say I'm not interested in whatever they're offering. Do you want those kind of calls? Do no, no, I, I would much prefer not. Even if you haven't registered your number with the do not call list, you're not supposed to get telemarketing robocalls. The federal government banned those back in 2009. Why are people still getting the calls? Well, there's, uh, you know, there's some people who just don't care. There's some people who are just out there to scam people, and they don't care whether there's a do, call, do not call list or not. The Texas Attorney General's office goes after people making illegal calls. By its count, the office has secured more than $8 million in damages and penalties from those cases. Still, investigators face challenges tracing Internet calls. As a result of that, people are more inclined to do this kind of thing than ever before. Do you want telemarketers calling you? No. <laughs> no, definitely not. Caitlin Neff says those calls aren't interrupting time with the kids anymore. She signed up for a do not call list and says so far it seems to be working. Kevin Schwaller, KXAN, investigates. Customers also complained about violations of the Texas no call list. For the last two year period, the state received more than 10,000 complaints. We checked to see today if there are any exceptions to the National Do Not Call Registry. According to the FTC, it applies to any plan, program, or campaign to sell goods or services. But a telemarketer may call a consumer if there has been established a business relationship for up to 18 months after the consumer's last purchase, delivery, or payment. The national do not call list also does not limit calls by political organizations, charities, or telephone surveyors.